my name is Lizelle from Lizelle Loves Books and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to do a wolf shifter recommendation video. Books that have wolf shifters. I got this idea from watching Jen from the Book Refuge. Also, I did a vampire recommendation video, so I thought it would be fun to do a wolf shifter recommendation video this time. I'll link my vampire video down below in the description, so please watch that video for vampire recommendations. The first book I want to talk about is a new book that I read for Cover to Cover book club run by Tori from Novel Life and Sam from Sam Reads a Little. It's called Sanctum by Hannah McBride. It Sanctum follows Sky and her mother. Sky and her mother are from a terrible wolf pack where Omegas have no rights. They live in an Omega house in their pack and they they live terribly there. Omegas are beaten, uh, harassed, and trigger warning for sexual assault, I say, they're, it's terrible in that house, and one day, Sky's uncle, who is the pack alpha for that pack, tells her she's going to be announced as a and they're full-fledged Omega, so before that can happen, Sky's mother takes Sky and her away from that pack. They're on the run. They transfer to this new pack. I think it's called Blackwater or Blackwood Pack. That her, her other friend is there so they can seek refuge from their pack and Sky is taken it back because this new pack is very different from her old pack like people are actually nice to her regardless of the fact that she is an Omega and she learns that young wolf shifters in the pack, go to a separate school to try to get along with their wolves and other werewolf shifters. This is new to Sky because Sky has never been able to figure out what her wolf problem like she's never been able to shift at, at good times so she goes to the school to try and help her with her wolf situation and she tries to keep her head down because she remembers the experience at her old school where she has to look over her shoulder all the time, but when she gets there, she actually makes a few friends, and she's able to breathe a sigh of relief because they don't treat her like they treated her at her old school. And she actually meets Remy, her, her mate, her true mate, and Remy is the son of the new, the alpha leader of her new pack. So she finds her faded mate 
and a lot of stuff goes down so it's a very good book I gave it 4.5 stars rated a 5 on Goodreads because you can give half stars on Goodreads but I really suggest if you want a werewolf shifter read Sanctum by Hannah McBride and the next book I want to recommend to you is Wolf Gone Wild by Juliet Cross. It's about Mateo. Mateo has a problem. He can't shift into his wolf. And because of that, he starts hearing his wolf in his head. And Mateo, Mateo goes to Evie who is a hexbreaker, who wants her help to help him lift the curse somebody put on him. So, and Mateo's wolf talks to him in his brain. He tells him that Evie is his mate, basically, uh, and the wolf is only manageable when he is around Evie and Evie is very reluctant because in the Stay a Spell series they have this stigma against werewolves. So it was very funny. I really liked it. If you were a fan of Star Wars, Evie is a fan of Star Wars. She she tells a lot of jokes, so Wolf Gone Wild by Julia Cross. Another, the third book I want to recommend to you is Witches Get Stitches by Julia Cross. It is the the fourth, the third book in the Stay Spell series, and it is about Violet. Violet is Evie's sister. And, and Nico. Nico is Mateo's cousin. Violet and Nico meet at New Year's Eve. They have a thing going, but before anything can happen further, Violet does the tarot card reading where she kind of predicts if something is good for her or bad for her. And she did a reading on herself and Nico and basically telling her that Nico is not the one for her. So she decided that they should stay friends. Like one year later, Nico moves to the town to be closer to his cousin Mateo and he finds Violet again. And Evie and Violet just wants to remain friends with Nico, but Nico's wolf knows that Evie is his mate, so Nico pursues her. It's a French to lovers romance. I really liked it. But I suggest you read all the books in the Stay a Spell series. Another wolf shifter romance I want to recommend to you is Zephyr by Mara Ray. Zephyr is about Greer and she she finds Alex. They have like a one night steamy time. She knows that Alex is her mate, but but when Greer asks Alex to bite her, he says no, that he's already engaged to someone else. So it is a rejected mate story. Alex has a very good reason for rejecting Greer, and there is a good grovel. I suggest you read all the books in Amor Amor Ray 
Immortal Coven. I also read this book because of Jen from the Book Refuge. I read the Sticky Spell series because of Jen also. So please read all these series because it won't, Zephyr won't make sense to you unless you read book one. So I suggest you read all of the books in the series. Another book I want to recommend to you is Terrain by Amara Ray. It's the fifth book in the Mortal Kombat series, and it is about a half witch, half shifter, and her name is Cassandra, and her demon mate, uh, I can't say his name, Razzle. And Cassandra wants this demon's help to free one of her coven sisters. Her name is June, that was blocked away by the Immortal Council. And she wants Raziel's help. And he agrees to help her only if she stays with him for two months. So it's their story. And I highly suggest reading this story, but not until you read all the books in the series. Please, please, please read the Mortal Coven series by Amara Ray. The last two books I want to me mention to you is the Big Bad Wolf series by... Charlie at Hara, and I'm going to recommend to you the first book, which is called Wolf at Your Door, and it's about this secret organization of FBI agents that deal with werewolves, and one day, this agent, I don't remember his name because I haven't read these series in like three years, but this agent gets assigned to work on this case where a werewolf is killing random people in this town, and he gets assigned a wolf shifter partner because his other partner cannot be with him for this assignment so they assigned him with the wolf shifter and he's very terrified about wolf shifter this guy because a wolf shifter attacked him so he's very wary of wolf shifters but there's something he can't explain about his wolf shifter partner that he's attracted to him. It's an MM romance. There's mystery. You have to find out who is killing these people in this town. And you have to see if this guy can get over his fear of werewolf shifters. I like this book. I like the mystery. The series is pretty good. And the last book I want to recommend to you is the Green Creek series by T.J. Clune. And the first book is called Wolf Song, and it's about Oxnard and Joe. Oxnard is 16. He finds this little boy in the woods, and all of a sudden this little boy starts talking to him. This we find out this boy, his name is Joe, and we meet Joe's family, and it turns out Joe's family is a, a pack of werewolf shifters. And we find out that Joe and Oxnard are mates, but Oxnard tries to stay away from Joe because Joe's only a little kid, Fast forward years later, Joe is grown up, 
and he's going to claim Oxnard as his mate, but a lot of things happen in the pack, and Joe has to leave, and then he comes back, and Oxnard is very hesitant to start a thing with Joe again, because he left and never returned, but then he's back, so Ox has to decide whether he still wants to be with Joe or not. So, if you're looking for a MM paranormal shifter romance, I highly suggest TJ Kuhn and Charlie at Hara. Big Bad Wolf. Those are my recommendations for Wolf Shifter. I'd love to know if you've read any of these books. And if you have any recommendations for me, please check out my Vampire Recommendation video below down in the description. I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. See you, f see you Friday. Bye.